Welcome to a new Let's Play video. Um, I'm going to create a new character. I skipped all the intro stuff and so on. And we're going to delve right into it. I'm going to pick a unusual build. Which is going to be difficult to play. Or I think so at least. Um, I'm going to try and play a melee specialist intelligence guy with focus on power armor and uh, power armor and uh, chems and ranged weapons. So well, let me see here. Perception 4, endurance 4, charisma 6, intelligence 8, agility. Let's put um, let's put one more point into strength. I think that's okay. And appearance, I think, is just fine. I'm playing a male. Yeah, you look like a complete idiot. That's fine. I don't spend much time looking at my character, so... I'll try to keep up and dish out useful tips during the gameplay. So the first four levels can be gained, probably five, even without leaving the Sanctuary, just by building up uh, Sanctuary itself and getting around in the wasteland a bit. I forgot to loot some stuff in the um, in the vault, but I'm going to go back to it later anyway. So m let me see which which perks I unlocked. Yeah, all the relevant one except locksmith. Um, great, great, good. Okay. So I'm now looting everything I can, but that's going to stop at some point. Um, in at these early levels, it's fine because you can just stash all this in the sanctuary and be done with it. Always, if you're going to use cams, which you probably want to just let me check if I'm playing on survival. Yeah, I do. Pick up hub flowers at all times. Uh, this is not an Iron Man game because Fallout 4 isn't built for Iron Man at all. I just cannot be bothered with the stress. I'm also going to skip most of the cast scenes because, well, they aren't that interesting, and I presume you already know the story. Codsworth? Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiant, but you seem sure. Yeah, my wife Jeez. is dead. Sir, it's been. Sean's Sean's been kidnapped. Yada yada. Doesn't matter how long it's. A bit of mm -hmm. that means you're uh, too. Mm -hmm. Codsworth, I... I... Uh -huh. uh... Yes. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Thank you, Cuff. Now, enough feeling. Shall we, sir? Yes. All right. Let's search the neighborhood. Proud to serve, sir. Now, if you want to get experience from the, doing this, then you have to shoot the bugs yourself. Or kill the bugs yourself. Doesn't matter. The first stop is here. What's all this then? Ah, I'm so used to blitz. As you can see, the damage you get on um, these levels is really high. Another house. Follow me. 
I need some bobby pins. Do I have a pipe gun? I don't think so. What's all this then? Hmm. trying, Codsworth. Sure. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure Okay. The Time to loot the place. There's a safe here, which is novice. Okay. I need some bobby pins, at least one. a um, duffel bag up here, if you didn't know. And the trap door right here. And some hub flowers. We'll clear the island later. There is some more hub flower on the edges. up the, clay, the place quite literally gold bars which sell for a lot of money you want to save those for time is where you want to buy ammo or big guns or of the sort this lock is advanced okay I think there are two advanced locks in uh, Sanctuary. I'm picking up all this junk because I can sell the food and I can uh, place the rest in uh, as junk. That's it, I think. Let's go to our house. There's also some stuff at the back of houses, I'm going to pick up that later. I usually don't loot everything, I'll get to that at one, at one point. Um, loot optimization is very important if you want to um, go through the game quickly. Ah, I forgot completely. Um, I get to choose one more stat point. Let me see where I want to put it. Um, probably into strength. Yeah. Probably into strength. Still haven't found any bobby pins, which is trouble, troubling, to say the least. Shift 
battery, typewriter. <clears throat> Still no bobby pins. The mirrors are easy to miss if you don't know that they also contain uh, sanitary stuff like uh, steam packs and so on. Red X, drugs, healing stuff. Oh, there we go, bobby pin. Okay then. No safe in this house. If you miss a safe, it's easy to spot it once you start clearing out the debris. One neat trick, when you kill an enemy in vets, right click right after it so you get out of the um, out of the animation that will save your life more than once. Very important. Right click right after you finish a kill. Go. That's it. And one more bobby pin, excellent. Nothing here. bug that sometimes happens um, you can't loot what you see but then you turn around and you can you might you might notice that there is some green grass around that's because I installed a mod that turns the wasteland into slightly greener um, environment it's very refreshing to be honest and i also installed a mod to skip the uh, hacking game because it's really there we go. as many people say it's not worth the uh, time you need to spend on doing it nice okay two more houses to go or one I think there's a bug somewhere around here. Or used to be. There we go. There's a camp station here. I need to bring it to the front. Otherwise, I'll forget about it. Fertilizer. I think there is one more bug in here, somewhere. Wait, no safe? Isn't there... oh, there it is. Advanced, okay. Should I invest into lockpicking and clear up the saves? Probably I should. 
Although, yeah, I'll do it. Oh no, I can't yet. I need perception for. Okay. Um, that's it then, I think. Most of it at least. Now, one good tip. Um, I suggest you put your pre-war money into a separate container. That's because um, pre-war money is cloth and can be used to make beds, which will you be doing if you're uh, playing with settlements. And the thing is, it really sells for a lot of money. So as you can see, its value is 8 and the weight is 0. So I tend to put it into a separate container. Um, and spend it when I need to for some really big purchases. Okay, so I'm done with... Uh, I'm done with Sanctuary and I'll keep playing but you can skip this part because now I'm going to clear up the place of, the, of debris and build some stuff and uh, get to a few levels. So you can watch the action in the second part if you want. This will take some time, so feel free to skip. <laughs> ah, crap. When you are dismantling um, refrigerators, go for the door first. Because if not, if, if you don't do it, um, then you will get less resources from it. Because you can scrap separately the door and uh, the refrigerator itself. looks much better with green grass, right? With green stuff. I mean, it's completely illogical for uh, 200 years after the bombs fell, everything should be green anyway. It's just in the desert that it isn't the case. Because it isn't, because it isn't otherwise. Anyway. By the way, if you didn't know, uh, the E button doubles for enter, so you can um, use just the E button instead of the enter. Also, uh, when scrapping stuff, you go from top to bottom first, because if I scrap this wood crate, this ammo box will disappear. Again, less resources gained. Let me show you. Oh, no, the separate objects do fall, but um, if you have crates or barrels and such, one on top of the other, it will disappear.
tested. Definitely. Now these um, picket fences you can actually repair. Maybe you didn't know that. So even if you don't have the picket fences book, you can still pick them up and uh, fix them if you really want to. See? I'm not going to bother with that, but I'm just saying. I'll leave this for the dog if need be. These sofas I actually like because they look decent. See? If I click the fridge it's going to go away. Click the door first. That's it. Yep. I tend to leave some of these for cosmetic purposes. I think I looted enough. Um, it's time to build stuff. My aim is to get to level 4 before I head out. I like to go out during the day, it's also a thing. Okay then, let's build a base. Go. 
good enough. It's a little bit off. There we go, good enough. Not really OCD. doing with levels. Um, yeah, I do have a, an exact idea how I want to, for this to look like. That's why I can build so fast. into place, please. There we go. Actually, I might stand this one more tile. Why it won't snap? Oh, there we go. So this is the um, this is the work section. So do I want this here or maybe not? Yeah. There we go. Please, snap, please. Gee. Okay, this is going to be the balcony. to make this a uh, two-story house, so second level.
There we go, level 3. Hooray! Now we need some stairs. And roof here. There we go. Let's bring some folks in. What do I need? Crystals. Okay. Um, but I can do power lines, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let's bring the chemistry station right here. And the cooking station as well. There we go. Oh! I did this the wrong way. I want one more tile up here. That's it. Okay. Now it makes complete sense. Yep. There we go. Excellent. So this is our base of operations and I'm going to put down the mat uh, around like here. This is where I spawn when I fast travel. And that's it for now. Let me see how I stand with levels. Level 3. Hmm. What can we build? Some furniture, perhaps. There we go. My own bed, for example. here, pictures, I like paintings a lot, especially these ones, complete rubbish, but okay, kitsch I think is the proper word. Unmarked beds. 
for future settlers. That's seven beds should be should be enough. Eight eight beds. Um I think I can add some water too. Oh I probably should put some defenses up. Can I do them? Yeah, just a level one. Well I can do two for now. There we go, defenses. Can I do electricity yet? Generators. Yeah. Let me see for the water. Um, I can build this too. Excellent. And it requires two. Okay. generator the water and that's it time to head out in the next episode how are we looking from the lover's perspective Almost level 4. Yep. See you in the next video.